Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a really fun project. Today I'm playing with a new designer's choice die kit by Tonic Studios. This month it comes with 16 dies in the set and you can create adorable little boxes with them. Now let's take a look first on what's included. You will also get the dies in one of those plastic pouches and they do have a tap on top that you can label if you want. And it also comes with holes at the side so you can easily store them in a rig bound case. Now let's take a look on what you get. There are 16 dies in total and I'm going to show you exactly what you get. So first of all this is the basic die. That's the die that you have to cut out twice to create your little box. And of course I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together those little favor boxes. The kit comes with tons of decorative elements. Now you get those big windows. This one cuts out a panel but you can also embellish it with the one that fits just inside. And there are three different designs for the front and the back. These little rectangles are for decorating the sides and you can cut out a panel and decorate them with those lovely lace looking designs. So notice for decorating the sides and the bottom of the box there are three different designs that look like lace as well as three different panels. You also get three tags in different shapes with a hole on top so you can easily thread it through. And uh, one of them says with love, the other says enjoy, and the third one a gift. So they all give you a beautiful embossed look. You will see how they work on my examples today. For decorating your front and back you get uh, four different designs and I will be using two of them today so you can see them in action. Plus you get these two dies that cut out these wonderful windows. They look exactly the same but they aren't. One of them has a dot design, the other one has a stitch design and it is the same with those two dies that they look identical but they are actually aren't. Now by combining all these dies you get so many different options and the possibilities are really endless. I'm going to create a couple of boxes so you can see two different designs. For the first one I'm going to cut out this shape twice from pink cardstock. And when you have all those pieces flat this is where you need to decorate them. So you can pick any of the window dies and cut out a window there or you can combine it with the panel to cut out panels and stick them on top of your box. It's up to you how you want to use them. And today for my examples I'm going to use both ways so you can see them in action. Now for the first one I used the die directly on top of my panel only at the front. So I created a little window and you can see the contents of the box through that. If whatever you plan to uh, fit inside the box is very thin and you, think, you feel that uh, they are going to fall through all those holes then you can of course back them up with um, an acetate for example so you can still see through or like I'm going to do later on just as an example you can use vellum. Now at this stage I'm just uh, going to reinforce all those scoring lines. I'm using my bone folder for that. And uh, with a very thin uh, double sided tape I'm going to add some pieces only where those flaps are. So there are two flaps on each piece. And I find that uh, the size of this little uh, box is perfect for party favors. You can fit inside little chocolates. And uh, also if you want to gift jewelry they are the perfect size so you can fit inside a little necklaces or bracelets or even earrings and cut them out as a gift. Now I am peeling off the packing of those two flaps and I'm not going to video edit anything so you can see how easy it is to put these boxes together. For a construction of such a box I would recommend to go with a, a cardstock that it is quite heavy. The heavier the cardstock the sturdier your box is going to be. I always like to uh, run my bone folder along those uh, areas where uh, the glue is just to reinforce the bonding a little bit better and at the bottom if you want you can add a little bit of glue and then slide one box on top of the other. We already have glue at the side flap so all you have to do is to align them, press them together and your little box is pretty much ready. I always like to run my bone folder one more time at the bottom where that glue is just to make sure that they are nicely stuck together. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to close this box. At the top you can see those two hearts. 
Hold both of them together and press them down just a little bit. And as you hold them together, one after the other, the flaps can slide on top. And here is the little box ready to go. Now, just to take it a step further, I'm going to show you different ways on how you can embellish it even more. So here I have a piece of vellum. I'm adding glue only on the outer edges and then I'm going to slide it through just behind the window. Now this is a step that you should have done before you put your box together. It's much easier that way. And again, instead of using vellum, just to protect the contents inside, you can use acetate. I'm also going to use one of the three tags that are included in the kit and I picked the one that embosses the word enjoy. You will see that uh, it is going to cut out the beautiful shape but uh, you will be able to perfectly read the embossed enjoy word. So I have here some white thread, I'm going to wrap it around my little tag. It already gives you a hole once you cut it out and then I'm going to tie a double knot around the hearts. This is going to allow the recipient to remove this easily and open up the box with no problem at all. I'm going to cut off the excess thread and I'm going to embellish it a little bit more with a little uh, flower that I have on my stash. You can create a paper flower if you want. I'm just going to stick it down there and embellish it with, the, with a couple of uh, green leaves that I cut out. And I'm going to finish off my design by adding some Nouveau Drops along the design of the window. So here is the first little box that I created, super cute and adorable. And remember that you can go a step further and uh, embellish the sides or even the bottom and the back if you want to. Here are some close-up photos on this little box and notice how readable the word enjoy is on the tag, although it is just embossed. Now these boxes are super fun to create, so once you make one, you want to make another. So here is one more. For this one, I used Specialty Card by Tonic Studios. This is the Pearl Damask. I don't know if you can see with my lighting the beautiful design, but it is pearlescent, plus it has a lovely embossed look and it is heavy. So you will probably see the design in the close-up photos at the end of this video. Now for the window and for embellishing my box, I'm going to use this glitter cardstock. And this is the Welsh gold, absolutely gorgeous. And this time I'm going to cut out a beautiful design along with the outline. So one inside the other, I'm going to secure them down with some washi tape, run them through my die cutting machine. And here is what I got. So for this design, I'm not die cutting directly on the main uh, construction. I'm just creating a panel that I can stick on top of the side. I used Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and I'm going to stick it there. And I'm going for a stained glass look. So I will cut out the same design out of pink cardstock for the roses and out of green cardstock for the leaves. And here is the finished look just stunning after doing all the inlaying of the little pieces. I used the pink pieces to put together the little roses and I found that there are three roses on this design as well as a few leaves. Now I'm reinforcing again the scoring lines with my bone folder and I'm going to put the books together just like I did with the first one. Again for this one you can go ahead and create similar panels like the one that I added at the front to decorate the sides and even the back. You can also die cut one of uh, the um, little tags and um, wrap it around just like I did with the first box. I decided to leave it as it is. I think it looks stunning with this beautiful stained glass look. And here are both the boxes that I made using the designer's choice Die Kit by Tonic Studios. Here are some close-up photos and don't forget, just like always, you will find down below links to everything I use for creating my project today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.